Today, I'm going to talk about how to use your brand story to connect to your ideal client. I'm going to give you some marketing storytelling basics. And if this topic interests you, what you want to do is you want to keep watching. Okay. And if you find anything valuable in this content, you want to give me a thumbs up, like it. Okay. Like and share. Okay. So I'm going to give you five uh, ways in order to use story, your brand story to connect to your ideal client. And one of the reasons why you want to use storytelling to do that is storytelling helps you connect because it it draws like knowing trust. You're tell you're literally telling stories that relate to your ideal client. Once they find something in common with you, they begin to watch you or listening to you, and thus creating a a community of like no and trust. Now, creating a brand story is very vital to your business because when people know you, when they like you, and especially if they trust you, they buy from you, they uh, refer people to you, and thus you create a loyal community. So the first method is to create a brand story. In your brand story, what you want to do is you want to talk about the mission. You want to talk about things that separate you from people who do what you do. The second thing, in order to um in order to use your brand story to connect to your ideal client, you want to develop a storytelling technique. Now, for my clients, I always teach them to create three different stories. Now, I'm not going to go in real big detail because I'm trying to keep this video short. However, I am hosting a class where I go in to more detail on how to leverage storytelling in order to get your customers to buy. And to sign up for this class, you go to www.jackiemckeever forward slash links. It'll also be down in the description. So you can just click on the link and sign up today. But the once you learn how to use a story technique, you learn how to use uh, these stories and use it on repeat, okay, on repeat to, uh, you're using sensory details, um, you're using things like conflict or problem solving, people having issues, um, character details, all that wrapped up in a story in order to help clients remember who you are and can continue to connect with you. So number one is creating a brand story. Number two is um, learning to use a story, tech, develop a story technique. And number three is learn to be yourself. Like there's many characters like... Um, there's many people you may watch. There's uh, Annie. I don't remember her last name. There's Aaron on demand. There's many people that you might be watching on social media. Uh, Trina Little, for instance, that watch that you may watch on uh, social media that help you develop you as a person or you as the business owner. And when you start your business, you may be influenced by those people, but you always want to be yourself because what people aren't buying, if they want Trina, they're going to go to Trina. If they want Aaron on demand, they're going to go to Aaron on demand. What separates you from everybody else is you being yourself. Just know the, the little quirks or the things about you that you find different or special other people are fine and special. So be yourself. Avoid pretending to be somebody else. Listen, 
every day you see me come on here, like you may see me using a bonic word, or you may hear me say us uh, stammer or stutter on a word, but trust and believe I'm always myself because I can't be nobody else but me. Okay. And it actually took me a long time to learn how to be me or to be comfortable with showing people um, outside of my little corner who I was and what I can do. But when I did, baby, I'm here to shine. And so should you. You should shine. This is part of your brand story, you being you. So number one is create a brand story. Number two is learn to develop a story technique. Number three is be yourself. Number four, what you want to do is you want to uh, train or show up and give customers visuals. Or in, and, and this is engaging content. Now, your visual may be the words that you use to help them imagine what you are saying or what you are teaching. It could be words on the screen because often you see words come across my screen as I'm talking. Or maybe you'll see a picture somewhere over here to help draw your attention attention to what I'm saying using visuals. So number one, create a brand story. Number two is learn to develop a story technique. Number three, learn to be yourself. Number four is learn how to use visuals to uh, engage your client or to draw their attention. And number five is be consistent. And I want to talk a little bit uh, about being consistent. You know, when I first heard that word, I thought, okay, I'm coming on there every every week. Okay. Um, every week I'm going to be posting, like for instance, for my YouTube videos, I may, I, I try my best to post every Friday. Sometimes it may be Thursday, but every week I post. Um, I don't necessarily put down that I'm going to post Friday because, you know, I may post it a day in advance. Advance. But to be consistent doesn't necessarily mean that I have to post every Friday. Does it help when you post the same day every day? Yes, because people know when to catch you. But if you're following me and you have sub subscribed and clicked that notification bell, baby, you will know when I come on and we can continue to build this relationship. And here's one of the best things that I love about YouTube is say I come on at 11 o'clock on Friday, but you are at work and you don't get the opportunity to, to catch me because you have meetings guess what when you get off at five baby there she is you can because you set your notifications you can come on youtube and watch it and listen to me tell the stories or tell you how to use storytelling in order to build your clientele okay to draw attention attention so those are the five ways. Number one, create a brand story. Number two, learn to develop a, the story tech, the storytelling technique. Number three, be yourself. Number four, learn to show visuals such as images and videos. And number five, be consistent. Listen, if this information was valuable to you, what I'd like you to do is give it a thumbs up and be sure to watch the next video because I'm going to start telling you how to use storytelling in your content creation. You don't want to miss out.